All praises to the Most High, Shalom Yasharel. I'm on vacation here, but I'm sitting back enjoying the sun and the weather while we have it right now, and you guys should also do the same, not be so much caught up on all this internet and YouTube when you get the chance, you know, go outside, enjoy the weather, bike ride, enjoy the sun, have a good time. But <clears throat> I'm hearing the breaking news story that there is a shooter at an elementary school that just went in and shot up 16 people. As of right now, 15 children are dead and also the school teacher. And uh, if you really look at the times and what's going on right now is very depressing after coming out of two years of uh, COVID being locked up in your house. The 401k is plummeting. People are losing money there, can't uh, afford to retire. Then you have the shortage of baby food. By the end of this year, they're talking about a shortage of food. There's rivers and also uh, uh, oceans that are drying up here that we're having problems with water shortage. Also, we just got a dilemma on our hands right now. We've got a lot going on. So people are at a breaking point where they are ready to break from all of life's issues and problems that are going on. You had a uh, two weeks ago where this 18 year old boy walked into a grocery store and he targeted the black community shooting at us. You guys are gonna learn here after a while that our skin makes us a target our melanin, Yasharel, everything we're going through. And you have to be strapped. You have to be packing. You have to be loaded everywhere you go, whether you're walking, jogging, running out to the store real quick. You don't know what kind of crazy people are out there that you might get into it with or see out there. So my prayer is always, I pray every single day that Yahweh would direct my footsteps. Don't never let me be at the wrong place at the wrong time but let me be at the right place at the right time you know there were some people in that shooting last week that missed it by just a few minutes whether they left their keys at the house couldn't find their keys to get in the car drive to the store they missed that 2 30 p.m shooting that took place so there is a purpose in life for everything under the sun everything god would do with us uh, we have angels that are assigned to us that are guarding and keeping all of our steps and all of our ways. So pray every single day that God will guide your footsteps, that Yah will lead you and guide you into all truth. But like I said, it's very depressing times we're in right now. If you're a single mother and you're out there and you're on your own, you know, the struggle is real. Trying to make it by yourself. Uh, this pollen is very high where I'm at here in Ohio, having a lot of coughing and uh, issues with sinuses and allergies and all that other good stuff, trying to get my voice back here. But I'm enjoying my vacation before I get ready to go back to work, spending time with the wife, quality time, having a great time outside, enjoying this weather. But I will be getting back to my YouTube videos, to my studies. I wanna welcome all my new subscribers that are signed up. There will be a plethora of videos coming forth and teaching, so just stay tuned with me here as I go on a little recreational break. But brothers and sisters, we gotta be strapped everywhere you go. I mean, when it comes down to the black community, we spend a lot of money on other different things like clothes and shoes and Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Dolce and Gabbana, all kind of other uh, clothing wear out there with the highest consumers that there is but when it comes down to our guns we don't have guns you got to start learning single black women mothers you got to start going to the gun range you got to buy your guns you got to be strapped you got to be prepared at all times there was a time in the scripture where yahusha told them to put away uh to sell their coats and to go get swords there is going to come a time now where you will have to go get you guns and be prepared because you will be a target everywhere you go and everything that you do. And it has nothing to do with your appearance, just the complexion, just the melanin you carry by itself. You are hated. 
They know that you are the Jews. They know that you are the chosen ones. You, they know that you are the Israelites that the Bible speak of, not the Ashkenazi Jews. So truth is coming forth, and the more truth comes forth, and we see that when it comes down to the Edomites, Esau, there is a declining rate. A couple months ago, I did a video. I told you guys where there are more deaths than births among the Edomites, and their race is declining. They say by the year 2030 that they will be the minorities and we will be the majority. So that's what it was with this young uh, killer, this 18 year old boy that walked into this store and shot up and killed all of these people is because he knew that there's a declining factor going on in his race. So we must be prepared because it's not only him, but it is said that there were up to about 22 to 32 people that was watching that live stream and people that knew that this shooting was about to take place. All right, y'all, Sherelle, I'm going to make this a short impromptu video, just filling in, checking in with you guys. And like I said, get some sun, enjoy the weather, uh, get off this internet and enjoy life while we have it. All praises to the most high. God bless you.